Okay, let's get started. Let's spotlight for everybody. And put everybody on mute. And we are here on a different kind of Thursday because I have a very special guest actually in the dojo with me, uh, she and Jeff Weibrow, because um, Wesley is he's, he's just doing Wesley stuff, you know. You know, he's uh, he's got squad training today with um, the Dutch squad, so that's why he couldn't make it. But we have a very nice guest to step in. Um, Today, we're going to be working on a variety of things. Uh, Shian Jeff is going to do the warm up because he's uh, Jazzy Jeff and he's going to get you all going. And then I'm going to do the stretching and then we're going to work on some stuff in between. Um, again, not very many people today because of the holidays, but that's cool. Anything you want to ask, put it in the chat and um, we'll do our best. I'm going to switch over to uh, Jeff now, who's going to take us for a warm up and we can get going. Let's go. Us. Okay, hi guys, and uh, what I want to work on uh, today is basically um, the twists, the twists in the punches, in the blocks, and the importance of the twist. And the very first thing that I uh, um, was so impressed with when I first saw the first KRT was the precision and attention to detail. And so um, I'd just like to put my my little uh, thoughts and on that and especially on how important it is to twist the, the wrist to twist the uh, the fist even the hips and the feet when you're doing your techniques so in the warm-ups we just go very very uh, basic from the beginning open your hands out we're going to squeeze we're going to bring in the fist from the little finger squeeze as tight as you can and then open the fist in reverse so it's the thumb and goes out so we're going to go little finger in squeeze tight as possible and then open. So we're working the joints from the finger joints. Awesome. And then we're working this way. So we go close and then open. And you open it reverse the way you close it. So thumb, finger, next finger, next finger, next finger. And just do this a few times. Yeah. Tight and down. And when you open, we're stretching the fingers. We're stretching. So keep them wide. Obviously, if we do any open hand techniques today, it's got to be tight, um, tight. Uh, no uh, loose fingers, they've got to be really tight on, on the, and if we have a closed fist, no um, doing the technique, say for example, we do a technique and then relax in the hand, uh, which is quite a bad habit for a lot of people. So I want you to keep a tight fist all the time, or if it's open hand, keep a very tight, um, strong hand in whatever you're doing. Okay, so now... From there, we work the wrist. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ro, shi, hach, ku, ju. Elbows going up the arms. Ich, ni, san, shi, ro, shi, hach, ku, ju. Other way. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, ro, shi, hach, ku, ju. Shoulders, just work the shoulders. So it's backwards. We're coming. Ich, ni, san, shi, Go and the opposite forward. Ich, ni, san, shi, go. And now the arms swing in the arms. Ich, ni, san, shi, go. Shish, hach, ku, ju. Backwards. Ich, ni, san, shi, go. Rub, shish, hach, ku, ju. Okay. One forward, one back. So the hands can be open or closed. We're just getting the coordination and the opposite direction. Uh, swinging the elbows back and just working, twisting the waist, turning the spine. Ich, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shish, hach, ku, ju. Okay. Right, from there to start with. So the, the main emphasis is on what I want to do today is getting a twist. So if we work out with the the seiken, if you push your seiken out, pulling the right hand back and making sure that you virtually, now when you punch, take your punch right out so the arms are almost straight, virtually straight, and then you're just gonna screw it in. So we'll take it very, very slow. So itch, push, 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 push. Once you've got it straight and you get the twist. Again, itch. So basically the contact is made and then you screw the punch in 
a further couple of inches. Now we're going to itch, just very slow. Knee, keeping that fist and arm strong. Sun, she, go. She up. All right, okay, so a few um, 10 punches. Uh, uh, but remember, try not to turn your fist too soon. A lot of people turn their fists when they get halfway through. And so the actual contact is just a push awesome. rather than making the contact and then screwing it in. Awesome. All right, again, you ready? 10, we'll do it. H, knee, sun, she, go, rup, shish, Hatch, ku, ju, shia. Good. Okay, next one we're going to do is chinen shukai. All the warms. Now, same thing. Point under the arm, pull out, but keep the arm this way. So the contact is made here, and then you've got to twist. Okay, again, itch, go under the arm, pull it out. Again, the contact, this is where the contact is made. And then you twist, and that twist will magnify the uh, the power of the block. Awesome. Again, itch, me, and twist right at the last minute. Sun, she, go. And we'll try nice and strong now. Awesome. E, itch, me, sun. She go rock shish hatch ku ju she good okay good amber eye exactly the same thing I just give I only spend a few minutes on this I just give you a quick can I use this yeah um, as a, a demonstration yeah of course so on all your blocks especially the blocks can you just hold that uh, so yeah. Here, yeah. So normally, if you say, for example, I'm blocking Chino and Shuke, if I come here and block in this position, I want a very exposed part of the arm, which is bone, so it's going to hurt me, okay? And it's just the push is there. What you want to do is to come out here and then the twist, okay, and get the twist. So let's get a more powerful block. It's the same, get under eye. If it was down, it's the same. You're coming down with the back of the arm, makes the contact, and then you get that twist to finish it off. So, so okay, same thing. Draw then okay, same thing. Everything. And this is why the twist is so important. We've all uh, twisting your feet when you're doing a punch, twisting your hips, the shoulders. They, they play a big part in the technique that you're doing. Okay. Right, so we just uh, finished the warm ups with uh, the four basic blocks. So get under eye, we've done the chupi already, get under eye, but try to remember you're coming and twisting at the final moment. Awesome. All right, let's go. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go, and strong. Awesome. Itch, ay, sun, chi, go, look, itch, Hatch, ku, shia, shia, and sotu kai. So we're coming across from here, round, round, round. You've got the muscle here, yeah? And you make the contact and the final twist. Oz. Gives you uh, the itch. Nice and slowly, take it in the tenure. Me, sun, she. Four. Five. Hard and strong. Us. H. A. Sun. She. Go. Rock. Ish. H. Kuh. Shia. Shia. And draw down. Last Us. one. Well, when I say twist, be very careful that you don't twist too far and you're not showing your wrist. You're making the contact with the back of the arm and you just get that twist. Slowly, itch, knee, sun, she, 
four, and ten. Awesome. Nice and strong. Aish, aish, um, aish, oh, up, aish, hatch, her, see ya, see ya. Now we Okay, I'm pretty warm, so I hope you are. <laughs> so, it's warm in here. I was, I was. Okay, so yes, we were, as, as, we, as we gathered, we're working on the twisting of the techniques. Now that could be the twist on the block, shoulders, hips, punch, etc. So what I'm going to work on is I'm going to work on Tetsui, my Yoko Chudan, okay? And it might be Yoko and it might be my. Now the common problem here is that most people want to do their Chudan or Chukes here and then they want to do their Tetsui Chudan exactly the same way. The trouble with that is, as Shen Jeff has just said, it's just a straight technique that comes around. We don't block like this because it's a straight technique that comes around. And we've already highlighted that each time we want the twist and the bite that digs into the target at the end of the technique. So we're gonna work on Tetsui Mai Chudan and the same would obviously exist or tattoo in my jawdown, which is exactly like my and bride, it's just used as a strike, okay? So let's go through the first technique. Left hand out, so nice and slowly, itch, under, palm will be facing in, out, rotate at the end. Knee, palm facing in, out, rotate at the end. Sun, she, go, we'll do 10. Rook. Ish. Ach. Ke. Chi. And remember, each time, again, it's that whip and that bite at the end of the technique, whether it's a round technique, whether it's a straight technique, we're looking for that rotation always to happen very, very close to the end of the technique. Okay, so please make sure we concentrate on that. 10 good ones. Ready? H. N. S. N. G. K. R. H. H. K. G. Okay, we're going to do Tetsui Ginan. Again, it's very similar movement to my and Barai. It's coming up. The palm is facing in. We're coming around and we twist towards the end. Common problem is we start kinking this elbow out too soon, and then we end up doing this. Drive the elbow down and push. It used to be way back when, Hans used to go on about it all the time. There used to be a technique called Juji Gidan Barai. It's never existed in my lifetime. Well, yeah, yeah so she and Jeff did it when he was a boy, probably, but then it was taken out of the syllabus, but it did exist. So we need to think. Remember, barai is a sweeping movement. Barai, a sweep. It's not a straight down movement. It has to come, sweep through. Get on, very similar. Get the elbow down, push through and round okay again 10 slow 10 quickly and then we'll move over to Xian Jeff where you can take a couple of techniques okay so get in first itch up down and sweep through knee sun she go rook Ach, ach, and ten good ones. Ready? Ach, ni, san, shi, go, rek, ach, ach, ke, chi, shi, and now ready. Give yourself a quick drink. Back over to Jeff. For the next couple of techniques. I got a question for you. See if you can answer it uh, by the end of the class. If you walked into a dojo, you see everybody standing in a position, okay, like this. How do you know what technique they're doing? <laughs> How can you tell what technique they're doing? There is an answer to it, it's very simple. 
because it could be Magnambarai, it could be Tetsui Gedan, which he, how do you know what it is without knowing, without uh, actually knowing what technique was called, but just by looking at them, you should be able to see a difference in the technique. So that's a question. Yeah, you can put it in the chat and then we'll see what the answers are a bit later. Ooh. He tests on everything with Shia Jeff. See, this is great, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, right, okay. So, all right, so staying on the blocks for now, I'm going to work on blocking combinations. So, from a basic standpoint, we're going to do my number I. Changing hands. Shunano Chuke. Changing hands. Chunan Sotoke. Changing hands. Jordan Oke. We're going to work backwards. So Jordan Oke. Changing hands. Sotoke. Changing hands. Uchi Oke. Changing hands. Get on right. So we're going to work up and come back down. Each time changing your, your hand. So again, we'll do it a couple of times slowly and Oops. then we'll go through it more more right, see how you get on. Oops. All right, let's go. Ready? Every time it's the right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Oh, turn it on. All right, let's go. Itch. Me, it's okay. Sun, think about you getting these twists correct. She, go, rock. Shish, hatch. Again, one more time slowly. Ish, ni, sun, shi, go, rook, shish, hatch. Okay, this time one count. We put it, we'll keep it by numbers still. But now we'll do it with the snap and the sharpness with the twist. Oz. All right, let's go. Ready? Aish. Ay. Sun. She. Aish. Ay. Sun. She. Good. Again. Aish. Ay. Sun. She. Aish. Ay. Sun. Here. She. We'll go away. Oz. In your own time. So finish the technique with a clean, crisp finish. Awesome. Yeah? And not, not, not sort of going, just trying to do it as fast as you can. Awesome. All right, Mongolai. Awesome. Jimmy. Shia. Lei. Shia. Sun. She. Go. Here. Look. Here. Ish. She. Hatch. Okay, now quickly. I started to feel myself as I was getting tired, the less crisp is the finish of the technique. Yeah. Likewise. <laughs> so you have to be conscious of that all the time. Very true. That's a good point. You know, you always got to be uh, self critical. Don't beat yourself up about it. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody. Me, she and Jeff, she and Janine, Sensei Mitsi. Not very often with Sensei Mitsi. She's most of the time correct. <laughs> but everybody makes mistakes. Don't dwell on it. Move on. Get over it. And just don't let it happen too often. Everybody makes mistakes. As long as they're minimal, small amount, it's acceptable. 
the large majority of your karate needs to be of a really good standard. Of course, you're going to have deep dips, peaks, troughs. We all get tired. We all have an off day. But once you put a black belt on, unfortunately, those off days have to occur less often. <laughs> Especially when you're as good as him. <laughs> <laughs> that too because he's a wealth of experience right you know that's, that's right stop my dog is digging holes in my garden sorry okay so, so the the um the next bunch of techniques i'm, I'm going to work on is storm or shuke is the first one now this is quite a difficult technique and quite a long technique and this one actually has quite a few rotations and movements in it so as we're starting off it comes across then obviously we are pivoting up and through we want the palm facing in so that at this point we have this rotation very common problem especially for low grade is they want to do this with the palms facing out and then they come through here and she was always telling me imagine you've got nails going through and then we can only pivot through and not take it out. We're on the wood, it's going up inside, and then we're gonna drive through nice and easy. Okay, so we're just gonna to stick to the single block, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down into four movements. So we're gonna be there, one, two, three, four. Opposite side, one, two, three, four. And think about, obviously, we're starting to angle the shoulders as we should do in most blocks. Don't just leave yourself square here and then do a massive rotation at the end. Start to prepare as we're going through. As she and Jeff said at the beginning, be a Hanshi, not a Darren and Wes. Hanshi has always had nice tight stores all the time. He's incredible. I've never really seen his fingers falter. Um, so we should all aim for that and you be conscious about it because it's, a, it's really bad if you hit something like this. <laughs> your fingers are definitely, definitely going to know about it, okay? So let's start out with the left hand out, and we're going to be starting with the right hand with the techniques, okay? So itch, out, knee, across, sun, up, she, down. Itch, knee, sun, she. 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 Last one. Itch, knee, sun. She. Okay, rather than go full blazes into it, what we're now going to do is we're going to do a nice, smooth, slow circle, especially we've got a couple of, well, we've got one low grade out there who's one of my beginner juniors. <laughs> and what we're trying to do is make sure that now we're not going one, two, three, four. We're trying to get a smooth, flowing circle going through this and think about the different ways that the hand moves, comes in. It pivots up. Now we've got this facing in. When we strike forward or block forward, as it's an okay, we're making sure that this rotation again happens towards the tail end of that technique. Okay, just 10 nice, smooth, flowing motion, and then we've got 10 really good ones afterwards. Okay, so left hand up. Okay, itch, knee. Sun, she, go, rick, ish, ach, give, yeah, okay. This time, 10, nice and fast. Now, people start to get tired, especially because this is a really long movement. The same with my Storm Wars UK. 
like, which is uh, in, 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 an, in another grade. But you have to make sure that this technique is a nice, fast, explosive technique. We can't expect to start off slowly and then go <clears throat> and then whip it through at the end. A block needs to be done as quickly and as aggressively as you would expect to hit someone. There's no point in Xi and Jeff absolutely trying to touch my spine with a Chudan ski and I go like this. It has to be done with the same urgency, if not more, because you don't want to get hit. Okay, so let's try and think about that whilst we're doing the technique nice and quickly and explosive. Okay, 10. So left hand up, fingertips, keep them nice and tight. Ready? H. Ni, san, shi, ya, rak, ash, ash, ke, shi, shi. Okay, just relax. I'm going to add one onto that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do just chuda no chuke, and then from there we're going to do a sort of um, a stomo chuke. Sorry, afterwards. So we're only going to do ten, but it's going to be one count. Will be two techniques, and we need to start practicing on the rotation on each one. Rotate, complete, out, full technique. As, as Shien Jeff said earlier when he was doing his combination, don't cut short here to think about going through really quickly. When you're blocking, you don't really want to cut the block short if someone's kicking you in the head and you think, oh, I can only get up to here because I'm thinking about punching the other person. <laughs> Because unfortunately, Wesley is definitely going to kick you in the face. And he's not here tonight, and he'll still kick you in the face. <laughs> That's how good he is. Okay, so we need to think. One, same arm. One, same arm. One, same arm. Take your time, complete the block. I'll try and keep the counts in between the counts a little bit of a gap. Okay, rather than going, like I know I normally like to do. Okay? So let's start off with the left hand out in Shomo Shuke. We're going Chuda no Shuke first, and then Shomo Shuke with the right hand. Okay, let's go. Left hand out in front first. Okay, one count, two techniques. H! Ni! San! Shi! Go! Right! Nari, get yourself a little drink. Back with Jeff. This one in here, isn't it? No. Open your door. You're two people in here, it warms up quickly. I can't open this one because the dog will come running through and want to get in. And he's going to dirty up my dojo, and I don't like that. <laughs> Okay, so what um, what we do now is going back to the same as what I did before, but we're changing it. We're going to go up on the right side and down on the left side. So I'll go through it slowly. We start with the right hand from there. Magi Namurai. Same hand now, right hand, Chunan Shuke. Cover, block. Chunan Sotu And ground. And Jordan Uke. Now we're going down on the left side. Itch, Jordan Ukai. Knee, Sotu Ukai. San, Uchi Ukai. Shi, Janambarai. Again slowly. Itch, down. Knee, inside. Sun, outside. Shi, up. Again, itch, up. A, outside. Sun inside, she and down. Make sure you keep your fist. I just noticed a big hole in my fist when I did it last time. It was a gap, and it's because I wasn't holding my fist tight. Oz. So make sure you keep your fist tight all the time. Oz. One more time slowly, and then we'll do the 10. Itch, full basic technique. Knee, sun. Yeah, see that hole? Sorry about that. She. 
Ish. A. Sun. She. All right, one count, uh, but fast, okay? But still one count, one technique. Push. All right, let's go. H. Knee. Sun. She. H. A. Sun. She. She. One count, eight techniques. One more. Push. Jimmy. Okay, um, I made a couple of mistakes there. And the, important, the importance of basics and repetition and doing hundreds of repetition, because when you get tired, your technique drops. It's not as clean and as crisp and as exact uh, the tire that you get. And when you're fighting, when you're getting tired, it affects everything. You're blocking, you're moving, you're attacking. You must, no matter how tired you get, keep that technique crisp, awesome. clean, and perfect. And the repetition is what develops that. Okay, have a break. Let's have a break. Awesome. Let's... I do a bit more now. <laughs> When I'm at home in the class, I can get away with a few things because nobody's watching. <laughs> and now I've got everything as hard as I can. Yeah, exactly, see? <laughs> in the spotlight. You know, me and Wes doing all the time. <laughs> and then, as soon as we went to dual screens, there was no escaping. At least when we started off, it was like, oh, you go, Wes, and then I'll go and whew, give a bit of a rest. But now, it's like you're actually in the session. That's the great thing about training on Zoom, to be fair, because as instructors, it actually keeps you in check. Because it's easy when you are an instructor in a dojo just to walk around and do a little bit. And we've all been there. I'm an instructor at a dojo as well. But, and I found when I went back to physical training, I just I hardly do anything. because so I'm looking at people, helping people out, you know, and all that. So it's much harder on Zoom, but it's also good. Okay, right. So my next technique, <coughs> I am going to do Shtasky. So I did it in my dojo on, um, on Tuesday. And Shtasky is actually a really difficult technique because it actually just goes straight out. So where do we get the rotation from? Well, the rotation is from the hand here when we angle and then we drive in. And what I was doing with my dojo um, the, the other day is, is a lot of hip movement. I won't go through it today, but what, what we are going to work on is that once we're in this position here, we're going to concentrate on this extension to just angles us a little bit and then we can drive in because when we say we do punches we always refer to square shoulders technically that's not 100 percent true it's just not a 45 degree angle that you would deliver a block but there has to be some movement in that top half to generate meaningful power otherwise you might as well just do this technique here because there's no difference Okay, so what we're working on is as we do the completion of Jeff's Judanski out, we are priming the shoulders a little bit to then drive back. Angle ever so slightly, 
to drive back each time. And it's this, these small, intricate movements, especially when it comes to fighting, that are going to make huge, huge difference between the power that you generate or the power you're trying to shift away from you. Because the, the, the same thing will occur. A little movement like this, rather than a big movement like this, means the difference between getting hit with 100% or 60%. And you may be talking to yourself, going, yeah, but it's still 60%. <laughs> I agree, I would like to get hit with 0%, but you have to accept that when you fight and you do a martial art, there's going to come a time when you get smacked. So what it's about is making sure we deliver the best that our body can, can do and we save our body the best we can do because that's, that's what we're looking to do. She and Jeff produced one of the greatest fighters of all time in Michael Thompson. He was great at moving, great at, at deviating techniques and not getting hit very well. So, you know, that, that goes both ways. Nowadays, a lot of fighters were very, very well conditioned and you don't block so much, but how good would you be if you actually made the person miss or if we blocked an encounter attack? And then you also save yourself so you're not getting so tired, okay? Back to Stasky's anyway. Let's do 10 slowly. So we're going to be there. Itch, extend, and through. Knee, extend, and rotate. Sun. She. Go. Rick. Ish. Ach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. We're going to do 10 really crisp ones. And then what I want to work on is, is just an adaptation of this um, uh, for the next 10. Okay, so 10 full techniques each time. Upper body, we want to see some movement. Lower body from hips down at the moment, we want to see... Maybe a little bit of movement, but not too much of this, okay? We're going to drive in and steady the body, and we'll go through that in the next round. Okay, ready? Let's go. Eight, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Good, and relax. Okay, so there's two types of techniques that we do. In, in, in offensive techniques. There is a ski, which drives the power. This is like all of my weight going in. This is probably going when we, when most people break boards in, in the early stages of knockdown. So lots of power, lots of weight going in. And then we moved to nowadays where we're delivering uchis, okay? So we're delivering uchis a lot more of the time because we've adapted kind of a boxing style in our punches because we've realized leaving this hand out for long enough is going to lead someone to capitalize on you. So what I'd like us to concentrate on is we're going to leave one hand out in a Chudan ski and we're going to whip through and then control this at the same time with the hip. So as I whip through, I'm going to whip and then bite back. So we get a control element that happens with this technique rather than us going and leaving all the power in there. We're starting to think about one and then that, that control element that retracts. So when we hit, we're going to whip and then cut, whip and then cut. And that's what we're going to work on. We're just going to do five on the right and then five on the left. But as you're, as you're delivering the technique, the hip will start to prime ever so slightly before the hand and then cut back at the point of delivery so that we get our really good focus on the end of that basic technique right now. Okay, so we're going to do five on the right. So we're just going to be there. Watch slowly. Here, one, two, three, four, five. Cut back. Cut back and then the same on the left. Okay, everybody understand? Oosh. Oosh. So, right hand, uh, left hand out, right hand will do the Stasky and can pull back nice and fast, drive both sides. Ready? Edge! 
and back. Ni, san, shi, go, shi, and the right hand out. Left hand doing the technique now. Ready? H. Ni, san, shi. And relax. Okay. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get this action happening with our core muscles. So as this is happening, the top half is also moving like this, keeping your stomach muscles strong, keeping your power going in the direction we want it, and then also giving us that control or retraction each time. Okay. Give yourself a little drink. Back over to the big man. Push. Yeah, it's behind the door. <laughs> okay, so uh, when I warmed up to the start, I opened the hands and then closed them, did it slowly, then reopened them. Push. Is we're going to do a combination now of one open hand technique and a closed hand technique. Push. So when you do these fast, you've got to open the fingers and close the fingers at quite a speed. So it's getting used to getting them open and getting them closed quickly. So what we're going to work on now is the Meister Morshuke. So from here, we're going to go drop it very slowly. We're going to go through basics for the, for the lower grades. Bring the arms up, come round, come back, and then push. Okay. Good, and with the other hand, slightly dip the hand in, drop, round in a circle, come back and push. Good, one more, again, itch, round, nice smooth, full circle, and then push. Now from here, once you've done that technique, you've got to close your hands, and I want you to go, chudenu chuke maigen amberai, chudenu chuke maigen amberai. And we do Push. two of those and that ends up, so we are now on the left hand forward. Push. So then you're going to open the hands again, coming into this position. Stole more shuke, my stole more shuke, and push. Now some people, um, they don't do the full circle, they come to here and pull the arms back. I like to do the full technique and cut across this, or cut to the center line and bring the arms back just awesome. to make it a fuller, cleaner movement. But again, uh, slightly different uh, organizations do it slightly different. So for now, just do it my way. And then if you're told in another class to do it the other way, you do it as you like. Awesome. All right, we push out, make a fist. One, two. Sorry, I did the wrong arm there. All right, so when, when, when we go around here, in that position, it is the, uh, the bottom hand that comes across and across. Then you're on, so you get the, the, the correct left, right, left, right, left, right. Push. Again, stole more shi okay. Push. So it is the right hand that comes down now. One, two. Good. Stole more shi okay. Push, the bottom hand comes down, down. Stole more shiuke. Push, two, stall. One, two, stall. Two, stall. Push, one, two. Okay, right, so we try it now. One count, Push. three techniques, okay? Push. And uh, try to get to, to the rhythm. Try to get the rhythm so you're going to be going one, one, two. Push. Not one, two, three. It'll be one, one, two. Okay, so Push. we're going to try for that. We'll do it slowly, first of all. Itch, one. Make sure it's a strong push out. Two. Ush, A, Ush, A, and again, the hands are open, and they're going to be closed, then they're going to be open. So you need to have a tight fist, 
and a touch stall. Okay. One of the, the tests, uh, Hanshi, when I was small, used to come up, we would be standing in our, hold our stove, make the back of the hand as wide as you can. He would come and pull this finger out, <laughs> and then he wanted to see it slam back into the, into the hand like so. Oh. If you pulled the finger and you, your, your little finger stood out, you're not, you're not getting that grip right. So try to hold that all the time, oh. tight, tight, tight. And the back of the hand, make as wide as you possibly can. So we'll start with the right hand up. Oh. And stone wash you okay, and a double which you okay, get on right. Oh. All right, let's go. Each knee. Sun. She. Go. Look. Shish. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Shia. Shia. Now we. Okay, and again, relax. And two. <laughs> so. My uh, little bit is shorter than Sensei Dan's is because I'm naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it says the guy that's doing 17 techniques in one go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, um, what we're going to do now, and we actually worked on it last week, a couple of weeks ago, is a uh, It's a really important cut towards the end of the technique. And what I see so often also, and Jess already mentioned about spreading the hand, the back of the hand, Loads of people, they tend to cut their hands when they do like open-handed techniques. I see people doing like this. You think, oh, yeah. They're thinking all about the tension coming in this way when it shouldn't be. Jeff said, spread the hand, the back of the hand, open up. And the, the way that you do that is you're pulling back this way at the same time. Because by, by doing this way, you're not able to spread this hand open. So spread it open. Of course, you're going to have tension on the fingers and they're not going to be perfectly straight per se. But what we don't want to see is this, because then you have a weak back of the hand. Okay? And then when, if, you, if you were to do something like high shoe or, or something like that, probably really going to hurt it. So spread the hand, open this hand this way, pull the fingers back. So that when we're whipping through, we've got a nice wide hand, and we've got the muscle structures, the little muscles in between all them little bones, pulling it apart, okay? So we're Shoyo Kagamanuch. We're obviously hitting the height of the temple in there, much like uh, Tetsui Komikami, okay? But the important thing is, is again, that we leave that cut. So when I did the six bottles, Meetsy, <laughs> when I did the bottle cuts, and I didn't really, uh, that was just Wesley lying. But when you do cut through that bottle, you need to make sure that that is a fast movement. We can't go here and then go all the way through. I wish it did happen. Have you ever done a bottle? Have you done a bottle top? I always wanted to do one, but I've not done one. Nowadays, the bottles are so thick, I'd probably break my hand. But uh, ultimately, the lax muscles and the obliques are starting to do the work. We're getting that rotation coming through here and cut neatly at the end. It's got to be nice and straight. And she's done the bottle top. And he always used to tell me, because if you're, if you're a little bit off or you're a little bit under, then you get the cuts on the back of your hand. I'm taking his word for it because I've never done it. But I imagine it's very true, and you need to make sure that we're cutting through on a nice, pure line. Because if we're cutting down the bottle or up the bottle, obviously, they, we, we run the risk of getting cut. Okay, so let's work on this. Left hand up. Remember, open up that hand. Keep it nice and straight. Powerful. Okay, behind the head. Rotate through and cut. Me and around cut. Some fingers I'm terrible for, so try and keep them nice and tight. She go 
Rook. Ish. Ach. Kip. Yeah. Okay, now comes the tricky bit. When we start doing it quickly, and then we start seeing all of this movement here. Remember, we want to cut and then have the control to stop that hand wiggling around like this or these fingers rattling around if we've got loose hands. Spread the back of the hand. In, bang. In, boom. In, cut. And then get that nice focus at the end so that we're not cutting past, we're not cutting, and then the hand's doing this loads of times before we settle into our technique. Always in a technique, there has to be a finish point, especially in IFK. Hanji was really diligent in creating a really effective, pure technique that we deliver in the IFK. Not to say other people don't, they've got a lot of power, a lot of resilience in their techniques, but we've just got that little cut and that little pause, and that all comes from Hanshi, that stems from Hanshi's, that, that Hanshi's demand on techniques, his attention to detail, so please try and follow that, so when we're coming through here, we're cutting at the point, not past, not extra hand movements, okay? Ten... Good fast ones. Okay, ready? Show your camera. Ready? Eight. Nine. Seven. Six. Seven. Eight. 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 Six. Yeah. And relax. Okay, so we're gonna do Johan around. Johan around. Johan Jordan and around. Now, although you might not think it, these are two very slightly different hand positions. Because with a shtor, you don't necessarily concentrate on having the Johan type four fingers. Okay. With shtor, we're concentrating on the on the hand here being nice and strong. And it, it should be in your in Johan as well. Uh she and Jess done a watermelon, and he can probably tell you about it. But what happens is we need to make sure that we have this nice, tight three fingers in position. And then this hand will be slightly different, only slightly. Okay, so we're going Johan around, Johan around. Okay, and think about the two different types of techniques we're doing. Driving through, making sure again, pulling the fingers back. We're really concentrating on those Johan in position here. And when we cut through, cut, drive, cut. And there's a slight difference in the way that we deliver the techniques. Okay, right. So left hand up in Johan first. So we're going Johan in. One count, two techniques. Ready? H. N. San. G. drink back with Jeff for the next techniques. He's talking to doing jumping spinning kicks because Wesley's not here. Mm. Says he wants to take over him. <laughs> Wesley said that I mustn't be better than him. So I'm not going to do any jumping spinning kicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, want don't want to show him up. <laughs> okay, so everything I've done now I want to put all the way through. So we've got a little bit a little bit um, uh, slower pace, so it's not too uh, Just uh, speaking about watermelon and your fingers and holding your fingers. The first time I put my fingers through a watermelon, I went into the watermelon and my little fingers started to spread before I got through to the other side. And when I came out, this little finger was stretched and it felt like it was being ripped apart the further I went. And as I came out, I really had strained and pulled this finger because the hand wasn't tight. Oh. It was going through and all the, the gunge inside was going between my fingers and spreading them. And afterwards, my hand hurt for a few weeks after. 
So after that, I actually taped my little finger to my third finger. So the next time I did it, that didn't happen. But it's very, very important to uh, hold the fingers tight, and yes. hold all the fingers tight. So we're going to work now um, for the four blocks, and we will do it. Uh, we'll do it all on the same arm. So we're going to go down, get on barai, chew down the chukai, chew down the sotu okay, jaw down okay. Okay, from here, we're going to go Uchu Kagan Amber Eye, Uchu Kagan Amber Eye, Stone or Shuka. Right, you end up with your left hand up. So then we're going to start with the left hand. My Gan Amber Eye, Chunan Shuka, Chunan Sotu Ka, Jordan Ka, Uchu Kagan Amber Eye, Uchu Kagan Amber Eye. And my stomach washing okay. Push. So this is everything that I've done to Buffy. Okay? Push. Again, the right hand is up, so we're going to take it slowly. It's not important to do it. It is important to do it fast, sharp, and correct, but it's more important to do it correctly. Get the technique first, and the Push. power and the speed will develop from that. But if you work on power first, and a lot of people, uh, I just divert it slightly. Uh, there's three basic, when you're in self-defense, three basic things, okay, in any kind of self-defense or any fighting, okay? The first thing is avoid the attack, okay? So first thing, try and avoid, get out of the way. Don't even touch. If you cannot avoid, you have to block, all right? You have to block. And if you cannot block, you've got to take it. And that's where the condition comes in. But it should be last. It should be the last. Not arm oh, strong, I take you don't take it first. You avoid first. Your first option is to avoid the attack. Second option is to block the attack. And the last option, okay, you've got to take it. Gosh. And everybody and everybody who has fought, especially for full contact, you've had to take it at some time or the other. Whether it's a kick to the thigh, whether it's a punch to the stomach or the ribs or the chest. Or whether it's a kick to the head, or even boxers, they've got to take. A boxer has got to, he's not been a fantastic boxer, but you can't take it because one time you're going to get caught on the chin, you're going to get caught. So try and work avoidance, block. If you can't avoid, block. If you can't block, then you've got to take it and you just hope and pray that it's not a, a deadly blow. Or, you know, I see a lot of fighters now, nowadays. Uh, I, I have noticed that fight, not especially knockdown fighters, they stand there and they, they don't even worry about punching. Uh, you know, they just take the, the body shots. You know, a five year old child can just stick a knife in you, no matter how strong you are, it'll go through your skin, go through the muscle, and go into you. You must block everything. You must block, even if, if it's a punch to the chest or thing, block it, block it. I've got to try and get out of the way. Don't just say, oh, I'll take that, take, 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 and then hit. Try and block everything because you don't know if someone's hiding a knife up their arm. You know, and just go like this. Oh, you know, that's nothing. The knife will go in, you won't even know it until you, you see the blood pouring out. Oh, so avoid, avoid, block, and only at the last resort do you take it. Sorry, I got distracted. We go back to what we were doing. Oh, what were we doing? Blocking. Yes. Oh, right, blocking, that's where it came in. You've got to block, you've got to block. So again, my number I, one. Same arm, Chiyan Shuka, Chiyan Sotunuka, Jordan Uka, Ushuka Giramba, another arm, Ushuka Giramba, Stone Master Moshuka, and push. Start with the left hand, H, Knee, Uchi, Sun, Sotu, Shi, Jordan, Sush, Ush, and the final, Ush. Okay, I know it is a big combination for you to remember. Uh, when I've been uh, training with Wes and they're doing seven, eight, nine, ten <laughs> combinations, so I think, what? Wait, wait. <laughs> right? You have to keep up. So, same thing now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get my back. Right, let's go right hand. Each, down. Me, sun, she, ush, e, yeah, Good. Each, me, Sun, she, go, rook, shish. 
H, knee, side, shin, go, rock, H, 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 H. Okay, we'll go right. Push. We won't do 10. <laughs> Purely because Push. I don't think I could do the 10. <laughs> Keep it clean. So we'll do Push. we'll do six. Push. We'll go right. Do not worry if you lose it halfway through. Just stop, wait, and start on the next one. Push. Right hand first. Push. Jimmy. Left hand. Knee. Shia. Shia. Right hand. Sun. Shia. Go. Shia. Rock. Shia. Ush. Yeah, now a boss and relax. Shoulders burning. So drink. <sighs> wow, this <laughs> training session in here. <laughs> It's warm really quickly as well, to be fair. So, <clears throat> right. So, um, I'm going to work on Osoyaki and also the store version that we use in Pinani and Pinan San. Okay. So again, very similar blocks, but a slightly different change on it. So, Osoyaki is fairly easy. It comes down. The store comes down and forward. So, again, we're coming down, cut, rotation, okay? Now this one is quite effective when we fight knockdown because you can bite in to the person's muscle rather than slapping down. And we can stop this a little easier. So we're gonna work on the two blocks. So we're gonna be working on Osayoki first, up, rotate through, down. Angle on the shoulders, remember, we just said, avoid, block, take it, okay? So if we block like this, you're probably gonna take it still anyway. So that's why we always are telling you, angle on the shoulders, give the target less to hit, and it also takes you slightly further away when you're doing the block, slightly further away. Here, slightly further away. What it also does, it starts to condition these muscles for when you do want to take it because we're rotating all of them muscles that are working the obliques, the abs, the intercostal muscles, all of them stuff. They're all working all the time that we're doing this rotation. Okay, so back to our side. Okay, we're coming up and down. Rotate, take the space a little bit greater each time. And it's at the moment, we're just coming straight down with Osoyoki, okay? So, 10, nice and easy, slow ones first. H, Ni, San, Shi, Go, Rek, Ish, Ach, Ke, and ten nice sharp ones. Ready? H, ni, san, shi, he, rek, ish, ish, he, chi, shi. Okay, so this time we're doing shto. So it comes down, cut, forward. So like a plane goes across the wood, takes the top layer of the wood off for you, leaves a nice smooth finish. 
And this is what we're looking to do on the arm. So as we hit, we cut into the muscle, deadening it slightly. In, 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 in the in, in our knee, one, two, in our sand, etc. Okay, so we want to make sure that we differentiate between these two blocks because we don't actually do this one in the syllabus, yet it appears in two catters. Okay, so we need to make sure that we do work on this little bike before we do the Johan Nukate afterwards. Okay, so again, 10 slowly, and then 10 more going, and then we're going to add the two together where we want to think about the different types of block we're delivering. Okay, so left hand out, nice and slowly first. Itch, knee, san, shi, go. Rick, ish, ach, kip, chi, Okay, nice and sharp, fast one. Three, ach, ni, san, shi, kip, rick, ish, ish, kip, chi, Okay, so now we're going to go one, two, one, Two. So we're going to almost introduce like a nukate to then do the cut. Okay, so we're not going nukate and when we're doing also a key, so we're coming there, one angle and then cut onto the top. So we're reducing the technique down a little bit. One, two. One also a key, cut on the second one. So what you could do is you'd be there one, and then you could cut into the arm afterwards if you if you missed the opportunity. Because it take it really does take good timing to be able to cut in. Like I said, it, you know, last minute sometimes it just blocking is good enough. Block, cut, cut next time. Block, cut. Okay, so we're coming in. Also okay, and then little cut after that. Okay, one count, two blocks. 10, okay? Right, ready? So left hand out. Ouch! Knee! San! Chi! Hell! Right! Ouch! Ouch! Hell! Chi! 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 Marry. It's all about coordination. She and Jeff's long combinations. Mine and Wesley's extremely long combinations. I mean, there was that one time when we did like, I don't know what it was, like 20 odd moves in a combination. It's all about being in the right place, adapting yourself. Open hand, close hand, open, close, angle here, angle there. The more you can make sure that each technique has a good focus on it, rather than any wasted energy, it will save you time and make the next technique easier. People often to me, they go, oh, yeah, you, 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 you're pretty fast. You know, you deliver such techniques like one after the other. Because most of the time, I'm really concentrating on trying to be in that correct position to make it happen quicker. I don't want to waste time. I don't, you know, some of these things are hard enough as it is to do without wasting energy in the process. Put yourself in the right position. It becomes e easier. Not easy, easier. <laughs> So there is a difference. Okay, so do try and do that. Repetition all the time. Focus on the finish. Good technique. Move into the next one as efficiently and effectively as possible. Okay, but you've probably got time for one more from Shea and Jeff, and then we've got a little bit of a stretch from me. Okay. Okay, I've uh, completed what I wanted to do. So what I'll do, I will stay on the blocking, but we'll do what we haven't done is chew them already. Okay. okay. Okay, so we do we do this a, a few times, and then because we're together, I'll give you the bunkai for okay? or one of the bunkai for. So from here, same from the shoulder, fist is in, and you're doing it virtually a chuan okay with the hand pushing onto the muscle. Oz. Okay, we come back to the shoulder and block, and then itch, knee, sun. She go. She yeah. look. Shish. Hatch. Ku. 
Germany. Sure. Okay. Right, so from there, really nice ki eye. Okay. Oh, sure. it out. And the same thing as you come round, you twist it at the end. Okay. Oh, sure. All right, let's go. Uh, left hand out, start with 10. It's nice and strong. H. Me. Sun. She. Go. Rock. Shish. Hatch. Ku. Sia. Okay, now we. Oh, sure. So this is one application. Why would you block with two hands? Why don't you just do the chair and shuke, and then you can use the other hand to punch. So basically, it, rather than a block, we're going to work from a grab. So uh, a person's grabbing hold of you, okay? So normally, if I've got a very strong grip and you just do the chuke, okay? It's not strong enough, it won't break me, okay? He may do if he catches me, but the other hand, so if, if you're grabbing here, so if he's strong, I might not get out of it, and he's got a tight grip. Okay, so what I want to do is use this hand here. It's going to be a lot better for Sensei than it is for me because he's a lot shorter than I am. And I've got to get under him. So this hand, what we're going to do with this hand, we're going to push his arm up. Okay, and that broke him. But I just, for example, so from here, we'll try not to let me break you. Okay. So don't let me go. If you can't get out of that, so I'm there, I can step under and then come round. Awesome. And I've got him here. And even when he gets to the disadvantage, he doesn't want to let go. Awesome. <laughs> you know this, right? So awesome. keep it to me. So I'm going to grab him. It'll be easy because I'm not tall. There. Now, it hasn't broke. So he tries to break me this way. It still hasn't broke. And I'm, I'm at a disadvantage, but I still don't want to let go. I could let go, but I don't. Because <laughs> now he, he's got me. So for all of you, it's like from one, push up, then <clears> step <throat> under, and pull through. Very basic, very simple. Obviously, you need a partner to work it from. But from the, the basic, you could just work from here. Or pull down. So I hope uh, that uh, gives you something. Most of you might know it. If you don't, then it's a bonus. Us. Us. Very good. Need to get some partners around as well, right? Otherwise, uh, we practice in the, in the air. Like you do your cutters in the air, etc. So there's no reason why you can't work on these things. But, you know, we need to make sure, you know, it's almost like coming up like a Jordan Luque position. And I've said loads of times, we don't want this Jordan Luque coming up here. And, and what Jeff did just primed it is he's coming up here and then he's going through. Okay. Anyways. Let's have a little stretch. Um, I'll be a little bit. Did anybody uh, answer my oh, question? Yeah. Did anyone answer the question? I think Daniel was probably saying he was going goodbye. No, nope, he didn't. He said goodbye, but no one's answered. Mitzi, do we have a? Uh, do we have an answer? I could unmute her. Yeah, there's only a couple of them in there, so you can unmute and. Say the answer if you want. Oh, so I would say it's a Tetsui. Sorry? Tetsui Mai. I would say it was a Tetsui Mai. Why? Yeah, but why, why, did you do, why was it a Tetsui Mai? What made it a Tetsui Mai? Because of the position of your shoulders. You were yeah. straightforward. <laughs> not, not yeah, so if you show us a square, you're doing a Tetsui. If you show us an angle, it would that be should a, be a Gedamai. Oh, I passed the test. Oh. A star student. Woo! <laughs> okay, um, let's, um, let's do a little bit of stretching. I let's, told Lucy what to say. Wait, stop it. Oh, I've, I've, I've got to go. Uh, uh, Jeff will help. Uh, oh, sorry about that. the neighbors just pulling out, uh, pulling over. Do you need a hand? No, 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 no. I, uh, well, I don't think so, but. Okay. Do you have to think on the Right, okay. Uh, he's gone to uh, help a neighbor. The elderly lady's just pulling over in the garden. So. Okay, so we'll just stretch out. We'll do a bit of stretching. So, you spread the legs, and we're going to go down. 
uh, on the right right side. So your left leg is bent, and then let's just stretch out on the right. Uh, you will probably be able to go a lot better than me, but uh, just go through the basic on there. So we're going to itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju, and then other side. Bend the leg and itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju. Go back again and itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hatch, ku, Ju and side. Itch me, sun, she, wo, rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju. Right, go on to the ball of the foot and stretch. And we're going to work down this side. And itch me, sun, she, wo, rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju. And change other side. Itch me, sun, she, wo, rock, shish, Hatch, ku, ju. Once more, again, itch, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shish, hatch, ku, ju. And change, itch, ni, san, shi, go, rok, shish, hatch, ku, ju. All right, come down all the way now and splits. One side. And the other. Come to the centre and sit down. Excuse me uh, for the distraction, but uh, it's quite, uh, he's trying to get through to the neighbour who's fallen over. And I'm sure it's going to be all right now. Right, push yourself forward. Okay, going down right side and just pull. Itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju. Other side, itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju. To the centre, itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju. And forward. And hold. Come up, bring the legs together, and cover me. Okay. Right. Nice and easy, flapping the knees. Wesley's probably got much better stretching than me. <laughs> but you're, he'll be back next week, so. That would be good, but he doesn't ever does the stretching anyway. Okay, like pulling yourself forward and itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju, and hold it down. Right, leg out. You right, Darren? Okay. And coming down, itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, shish, Hatch, ku, ju. Cool. And the other side. And itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju. And Okay, come up. Roll your hips, sister. Itch, me, sun, she, go, rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju, and the other way. Itch, me, sun, she, go, Rock, shish, hatch, ku, ju. Okay, relax, and we'll finish it off there. So thank you very much, and it's been an honour and a pleasure uh, and a privilege to be able to um, do this class with Sensei Darren. And uh, thank you, Wesley, for uh, 
inviting me on. I really appreciate it. Oh, thanks, everybody. What's, I don't know how to work this. Are you, uh, can you speak, any of you? I think, is there an unmute somewhere here? Uh, how do they unmute? You sh are you unmuted? Can you speak? Yes, we are. Yeah. Oh, you say so you can hear. So I, yes. class, I'm afraid it's just a little bit of an accident next door. And um, but Darren's got it and uh, he's sorting it all out now. I'll come down so you can see. Any questions? Would you like to ask any questions? Anybody? Thank you, Jihan. It was a great honor to meet you. Oh, thank you. And no, it's a pleasure. It's an honor and a pleasure to just uh, uh, be here. And I, I, I try to come to the t KRT classes as much as I can because I really enjoy it. And um, Darren's not here now, so I'm going to say it. Now, of all the project days that Hanshi O'Neill had, he had many. I was one of his first, and there was many along the lines. In my opinion, Darren is the best that he's ever produced. Uh, I just want to say that because uh, I really do appreciate it. It's, uh, so I'll let everybody know that. And, um, I think we can, uh, most of us can agree with that statement. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I don't think uh, Darren will be back just yet because he's uh, quite involved there. And I think he's calling an ambulance for the lady. Uh, looking after her. So uh, that's it. If you want to say anything, uh, carry on. You know, just ask questions. Thank you, Shihan, for uh, for your teachings. I love those combinations. Um, Steve does that to us in in the dojo. He comes up with all sorts of weird combos on the spot, and he, it's it's a mind twister. So even though I'm used to them, they still mess me up once in a while they're I know, still the I they, they can it's, still be what I try to do is to mix sometimes because everybody you know the 10th cure the 9th cure the 8th you know the, the combinations of, of the grades but when you take like one out of this grade one out of that grade one out of this grade and put them together then you, you, your mind has to think doubly so yeah uh, uh, even switching from right to left or doing alternate sometimes even on yeah, the basic stuff exactly. yeah it, it, it can get confusing right because yeah. like you mentioned sometimes you want to focus on the speed on the power on the technique and when you try to put it all together and then there's that combination as well it's all, it mind. can get it can get confusing yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, also true. thank you so much for that i i really enjoyed the session too bad okay. since there is not here but well yeah. we'll just Thank him in a in a separate message for him as well. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, Wes will be back next next week, and uh, uh, I'm not sure whether they have a Saturday class or the, when or when the next class is, but I'm sure they'll put it out in a little bit tonight. Okay, awesome. so thank you, thank you again much. for everything. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Was, My pleasure. Okay. Well, it's nice to see you. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank you. Thank was, you. Bye. Thank you. Was, all of you. Was. Was.